the icevi the nippon foundation mathematics package for teachers video series abacus as a mathematical tool title of the video assumed quotient a ring on the lower side for safety example 1716 divided by 296 like the previous example 1716 divided by 216 or in the current problem 1716 divided by 296 the divisor 2 and the highest two digits of the dividend are 17 as there are eight twos in 17 we reduce one from there and normally select 7 as the assumed quotient let us take 7 as the assumed quotient and see what happens set 1 7 1 6 in the right extreme of the abacus and the divisor 2 9 6 in the left extreme of the abacus set the assumed quotient 7 to the immediate left of the dividend let us start the multiplication process involving the quotient and the divisor 7 is multiplied with 2 which is 14 and we subtract 1 from the thousands column and 4 in the hundreds column that is clear 5 in the upper abacus and add 1 in the lower abacus in the hundreds column now 7 is multiplied with 9 that is 63 which should be subtracted from the hundreds column and the tens column we are stuck here as the highest digit that is available is 3 and we have to subtract 6 this clearly indicates that the assumed quotient is higher than the real quotient we can't do anything at this stage and we have to simply reset the problem that is reset the problem 1 7 16 and let us take 6 as the assumed quotient now 6 is multiplied with 2 which is 12 that should be subtracted from the thousands column and the hundreds column in the next stage we have to multiply 6 with 9 that is 54 we subtract 5 in the hundreds column and you should subtract 6 in the tens column we are stuck again as there is only one bead in the tens column whereas we have to subtract 4 this indicates that our assumed quotient is again larger and therefore we have to reduce 1 from the assumed quotient and reset the problem 1 7 16 now let us set 5 as the assumed quotient now multiply 5 with 2 that is 10 that is 1 is subtracted from the thousands column and 0 from the hundreds column in the next stage 5 is multiplied with 9 that is 45 that is 4 subtracted from the hundreds column that is we subtract 5 in the upper abacus and add 1 in the lower abacus now 5 is to be subtracted in the tens column as we can't do that uh, we subtract 1 in the hundreds column and add 5 uh, in the tens column finally we have to multiply 5 with 6 5 with 6 that is 30 which should be subtracted from the tens column and the units column that is 3 subtracted in the tens column that is clear 
5 and add 2 in the lower abacus and 0 in the units column. Now the remainder 236 is smaller than the divisor 296. Therefore 5 is the real quotient. Whenever we take three digit numbers we have to see them in multiples of 100. In numbers 217 and 296 217 is nearer to 200 whereas 296 is nearer to 300. Therefore taking higher assumed quotient in the case of 217 may become the real quotient but in the case of 296 it is closer to 300 and therefore you can make a guess of how many threes in 17 which is 5 and that can be treated as the assumed quotient. We will not know whether that is the right quotient until the problem is completed but it gives an idea of where the approximate quotient may lie. Therefore, erring on the lower side of the assumed quotient is always safe as it avoids the process of resetting the problem in Abacus.